Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the Halls of Torment. Today, we are going to be doing the 15 minute vault run. I'm going to start this off with the swordsman class and go from there. I want to show you guys what exactly we're going after here. I just have to go to the right story page here, the final chapter of the vault. So the reason we're doing this is because it's important and unlocks the blessing base crit chance, which is going to be huge for end game activities with high artifacts because it's getting very difficult. So base crit chance is going to really, really improve our quality of life. So we need to do this. And I'm just most comfortable with the swordsman, so we're going to start there. But it eh, there's a good chance we don't do it on the first run. What I will say while I'm messing here with, um, you know, our meta progression stuff is that I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous video, but I did get reached out to by uh, the publisher. And this game is coming to mobile in like a week ish, something like that. I want to say October 5th, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to take. I'm going to take crit chance here or just damage. Let's take raw damage. Let's take raw damage. Just take all of it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. May the gods Anyways, the game heart. is coming to mobile on the 5th. If you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments so I can respond to an email and let them know that I might want some free keys for a giveaway if y'all would be interested. If not, that's obviously fine, whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, I figured if you guys are interested in getting this in mobile, I can probably do a giveaway. So that would be cool, but I need you guys to let me know. So... And while you're doing that, don't forget to, you know, do the YouTube stuff, like the video, and whatnot. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. Um, we'd be doing the giveaway on my Discord, most likely, for the record. Anyways, what are we bringing to this fight? I assume... Oh, there, there's a world I could bring that. I, I think we're just going to bring the Bully Catcher. It's just the best item I have right now. Duality... I really like duality here. I did get Necromancer's Clutch. Um, hmm. With the cloak, with these boots. We get the movement speed modifier. When at full health, we get 20% attack speed. I think I'm going to put on Berserker boots. I think I'm going to put on Quick Hand Gloves. I think I'm going to put on Shadow Cloak Decay. I think for rings, we're going to use the... I mean, I'd rather not use the growth stuff, but that, I mean, that's just what I have, unfortunately. So... Yeah, let's rock with this, I guess. Oh, definitely a different... Definitely a different mark here. We could add block strength to multiplier to damage, which is pretty good. Mark of Sparks, Mark of Incineration, a base crit chance or base. I'm going to take the Mark of the Sword and we'll just double down on that. Also, I need to check here to make sure my save carried over because I did unlock the crit chance. I did. Okay, cool. All right, down to the vault we go. Three minutes into the video. I hope that wasn't too much for everybody. Um, so I guess what we really don't want right now is to roll enemy HP. Spawns an additional mimic. That seems fine. All right, max damage. We have AOE because of our basic attack. I really think Phantom Needles is just fantastic. However, we are a melee character. Plus Morningstar. Melee and physical already. Oh, Ring Blade. No, it's just Ring Blades. Never mind. I forget. Ring Blades is physical for some reason. Not really sure if that makes sense. So we need to be getting as much XP as we can as quickly as we can. I'm going to banish block and range because I don't think we're going to have time to get any of that stuff. At least I don't think so. We need, again, we got to be super greedy with the levels here. Crit bonus is huge. Let's get rid of extra, extra pickup range. Probably extra regen too. We just want damage, so crit bonus. We're just, we're just going... Pretty much glass cannon here with the swordsman, but you know, with you know, as much as you can as a swordsman. All right, 
Attack speed's fantastic. I don't think we're going to banish anything else there. I think I should probably go pick up some... I'm actually going to banish defense, too. And force. Take crit chance. Yeah. I think we should go pick up some, some more scrolls here. We need as much killing power as possible, as early as possible. Because realistically, what? We want to spawn the boss by like 12 minutes, probably. If I had to guess. Yeah, Blades is obviously the pick there. Um, a good boss killer. That's also melee. Well, Phantom Needles just showed up, so we'll take it. I'm always happy with Phantom Needles. There's Proficient Stance. There's also this. I'm going to just double this up. Just 60% damage on our main attack. This also... Attack Speed and Crit Chance on melee stuff. I think I'm going to double that too. I think doubling early is also really powerful just because like that's going to allow us to kill enemies faster and get more XP faster. Like, I mean, it makes sense, right? Um, I didn't have a better chest piece, unfortunately. I don't think the Shadow Cloak is bad at all, but it's, um, you know, it's just random damage. And I think there's better pieces. Although I'm wondering, <laughs> I am a little worried that my Steam Deck save didn't come across because I definitely feel like I, I sent the, um, the green bloodstain shirt up and uh, maybe I just overlooked it when I was picking gear just a second ago. I was yapping, I was yapping a little too much, but um, I feel like that would have been better. Uh, these are physical, but they're not melee. Flame Strike is melee. Let's take Flame Strike. Flame Strike, not really a big, a big like DPS meter ability. But for single target, uh, it kind of pops off. So I imagine it'll be good. What's what's our what's our situation? Oh my! Okay, so it's gonna pop the. <laughs> it's gonna pop the things really quickly, huh? Wait, how quickly can we kill the boss? Can we do a five-minute boss kill here? Uh, I don't. Give me crit bonus. Not having to avoid like uh, a bunch of BS is nice too. I guess we take Transfiction. Alternatively, there is um, the fist. Eh. Now let's take Transfiction. That's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna go break some cages right now. I'm gonna I wanna break all of them but one. Seeing that we have the flame strike ability, we could just walk up to it and literally literally half life it. These these like things remind me, if you guys haven't played last epoch, one I highly recommend it. Two, there is a very early game quest where you like break these three like spirit statue things. It's not like a big moment in the game or anything. It just reminds me of it. All right, I'll take global crit chance here. I'll take take the damage on flame strike too. And this is well, effect on hit. I mean, we took <sighs> Yeah, I think we took transfiction for the <laughs> for the 
let's take double strength. I think we take transfiction for the debuff more than anything, so I'm fine with that. The the holy ring is just just outrageous. I think I'm ready to spawn the boss. Actually, base crit bonus. Yeah. At four minutes. I mean, this isn't exactly what I expected, but. Take force and range on needles. What does he drop? Oh, okay. More damage on our Wayne weapon. I should have waited a second to pick up that one. For sure. That was probably a mistake. Because we didn't really, like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much we benefited from picking up flame, Dragon Breath there. Oh, oh, that was a huge magnet. Okay, now I'm like super confident. We could get 20 range, but I'd rather have the other buff. I'm just gonna take crit bone. We're just all, we're just all damage. We're just full, full DPS here. Flame strikes are boss killer. Uh, multi strike is obviously it's just fine. It's just great. It's just always great. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't see. There's a time where it's never. Good. Yep, yep. We just one tap that. That's good. I'm gonna keep running through, running through the tunnels here too. That's another thing. We're just casually stomping the tunnels right now, which is way more difficult than just fighting in the in the center room. So. That's a good sign. You know, I could just take... I'm going to reroll, though. I was going to say, I could just take uh, the burn chance, because we do have a decent amount of fire abilities, but no, let's just do it. Let's just kill the guy. Do the five-minute kill. Mm. Maybe. Okay, maybe not a five-minute kill. Maybe a little bit more than that, you'd say. I'd definitely take Dexterity Stance. Okay, so as long as we live, I think we do this in time. Let's take False Blessing here. That's a good bit of uh, damage. We do have... I mean, that's the other thing that's going on here. We've got this ring that's going to drop buffs every 30 seconds. Like, we're sitting with Unholy Strength right now. Um, I'll take 30% weapon damage first. And we also have the Blood Catcher to quite literally... Ooh, charge time reduced? That's, that's nice. The Blood Catcher is just going to heal us for an absurd amount of HP. So, in my first video with the Blood Catcher, you guys probably, like... I, I probably sounded weird, right? Because I didn't understand. I thought it was actually going to give us 10 max HP because I thought the whole, it was a whole balancing thing. Like, you start getting more HP, so then you didn't... Like, it triggers less. I didn't realize it was just... Oh, no, no. It just heals you for that much HP. So, it's actually kind of just insane. <laughs> Base crit chance. No, we could do better. I'm just take, I'm gonna take crit chance to everything. And then I'm going to walk over here... To this power up that dropped and we're just gonna power up our way to victory i think because it's gonna get it's gonna look a little dicey here at times we aren't like super defensive but we do have you know You have the stupid necklace that's broken. All right, sets nearby enemies on fire without direct damage, affected by range, area, and burn chance. Um, sure, that's fine. He's down. Do I take blades? I probably take blades up. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. This part's a little scary. I wish I had a little bit more range, but that's all right.
And again, like uh, the second we hit a power up, everything everything changes. Although he's smacking us in the face with gold. Which is, quite frankly, just disrespectful. Um, effect on hit chance on Transfiction actually goes kind of crazy in theory here. Attack speed on Needles is great, although Needles has a problem here where there's so many enemies it's pretty bad at targeting the boss. Same with, um, same with the, the Dragon Strike or Flame Strike or whatever it's called. Um, we do have two revives, so like if we die here, it's not the end of the world. We don't really lose anything for it. All right, take multi-strike. I mean, th this is kind of what I get for popping it early. Um, well, the needles up. I'm trying not to die. I mean, we have eight more minutes. I have no reason to rush. We are totally fine. And we're getting stronger the longer this goes on. And as far as I know, he don't heal, so... <laughs> oh, there's a there's an attack speed buff there. That's huge. Yeah, let's just get some HP back. Just chill. Some base crit bonus. Some a massive damage buff. We got shadows. Pick up some... Pick up some cheese from our local mouse friends. Ratatouille's out here to help us. And we're just gonna... We're just gonna... Hit him up. Alright, uh, that's... Your bonus again. That's fine. Uh, maybe he does heal? Wait, I think he does heal. But not very fast. Not, not enough to... Oh, we're, we're good now. Because now I'm just gonna run up on him. He's about to get jumped. About to be some Jujutsu Kaisen in here. Yeah, <laughs> bad, bad time for him. Uh, I'll take attack speed, I guess. Oh, maybe I should have taken range melee. Yeah, every time we get an invincibility power up, it's very bad for him. Take charge. Oh, I should have taken... That was a mistake. I should have taken attack speed and crit chance melee. Oh, there's an extra mimic. Although we knew that was coming at some point. Take some big blades. All right, we don't want him healing. I guess he heals off the skeletons. That would make sense, right? Since they are holding him up, I don't know. Transfiction. We're going to get a 10 minute boss here, it looks like. Yep. Defeat it in under 12. Oh, I think there was an achievement for under nine that I just missed out on. That's uh, that's a shame. We did get a torment shard. Look at this. Look at this fool, dead on the ground. Yeah, I'd like to leave the halls. We survived the vault. Um, vault speedster two. Let's see what the other achievement is. Uh, we watched the cutscene. It's in my other video. It's an incredible cutscene though. So what that did is that unlocked this which is five percent base crit chance which is crazy um especially when you start thinking about the fact that one you also start with 30 percent here so 30 percent of the five math and then you can go over to this duder, and you can get, how much is this? 12% from what I have right now. I don't know what I could go up to, but that's another 12%. So you can start with that much crit chance. That's, that's actually absurd. Also, while we're here, let's go investigate. I'm kind of curious 
what's in here did i oh i did take it i just didn't put it on i'm stupid okay yeah this is what i should have worn 10 percent chance to get one hp on kill and increasing damage with this thing's so good it's so good these two things together just crush and you just like support through the rest i think i i like the hood i'd rather have the the 30 30 base one uh that's just better throughout the run so that's that 20 minutes in i think that's gonna be the only run for today for this video because another one we go too far enter the vault with four active modifiers pay fifteen thousand gold as a tribute there's some other stuff we could do collect 15 kill fifteen thousand enemies defeat the lord in under nine minutes we just missed that survive for 60 minutes i'm not looking forward to that one we will do it because i want 100 percent the game but not not super high on the list i'm wondering what's the next thing we need to do i'm missing an item here so maybe next time we do like a no no because the no move one we just do, do a no difficulty right like that doesn't make sense there's do not deal damage for 10 minutes so that doesn't seem very fun either that's the type of, those are the type of things that i'll do off on my own steam deck or something demonic exchange maybe we mess around with a summoner next time that would be interesting either that or we do shield maiden stuff one of the two at some point we gotta do uh, a zooming uh sork too but you know we'll get there Anyways, uh, appreciate you guys for watching. I know it's a little shorter video than uh, the previous days, but uh, you guys know the drill. Don't forget to do the like, comment, subscribe stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Feedback's been great. There's uh, going to be a lot more content coming up. Been hit with a lot, of, a lot of games in my email this week, so we'll see. All right. Uh, have a good day. Jeff out. Bye.